inspires other cities in the area to do the same. He said he hopes the facility is up and running before the next summer. Well, it's officially fall, and that means many people are excited for pumpkin season. I am, which is good <laughs> because Danielle's got info on one event that looks like a whole lot of fun for the entire family. Look, Adam, I know you're not too good at baking. You're an excellent chef, but I need you to get good because I'm hungry for some pumpkin. Please. Some empanadas, right, or a pie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see, you already know what to do, <laughs> which is good because this event's going to be pretty cool. It's pumpkin inspired. It's the pumpkin unloading event, and that means it's literally time to bring out the fall season pumpkins, unload them from the trucks, and set them up for everyone to enjoy. Now, it's all happening this Saturday in the city of McAllen, and it's a community event for everybody to take part in. I am so excited about it. I know you are too. It's a great way for everyone from our Rio Grande Valley community to just get together for some fall season excitement. And you know, of course, uh, a pumpkin patch means that there are lots of photo opportunities for individuals and families, couples, friends, neighbors, everybody, co-workers, me, Jessica, Adam, maybe. And it's kind of a cool show. Uh, just uh, also very good to know that you're going to be enjoying a patch uh, that you set up just the way you like too. Plus, who would have thought that p unloading pumpkins would actually be a great way of working out? I know we're always talking about stuff like that, so pretty interesting. It also takes a lot of upper body and lower body strength to get the pumpkins uh, off the giant vehicles and onto the stacks that they need to be at. And so if you do want to move them around for different photos and all that moving sure does make you sweat, especially, you know, if it's already hot outside like it has been lately. So there's going to be uh, the beginnings of what looks like delicious pumpkin pies and offering homemade pumpkin goods and you know entrance is going to be free so all you have to worry about is getting out there having a good time and roaming around to check out all the other festivities that are going to be happening there on his site again it is all going down in the upper valley and you can bring the kids and even your dogs to have some fun at the patch now the address is going to be found right there on your screen and you can visit the displayed website for all the info we hope you're able to make it out there and have a blast and of course happy fall i'm so excited about this guys you can literally bring your dogs to take a pumpkin picture. We all are doggy parents, so I think we should go together. Three Musketeer dates. All right. You, you coordinate it. We'll be there. Uh, definitely. If Saturday, mark your calendar. Don't leave me hanging. I would totally be down. Butter also has his Halloween costume from last year. It was so cool. a little Jack Lantern pumpkin. Yeah. Um, so he could even blend in with the pumpkins there. So cute. We a little photo shoot going on. So yeah, yeah. I'd definitely be down. I love events like this because um, it's a good workout. And it really also, is. I love fall, so this is like the best way to kind of set up, get ready, <laughs> and uh, do we get to pick out pumpkins? Like, is that a possibility at this pumpkin patch? If you unload it, it's yours. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> That's what I'm interested it, in, is taking some of those bad boys home. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> I've never actually cooked pumpkin from, like, the pumpkin. I haven't oh either. But this sounds like either. a great time. All right, y'all. You know get to what? work. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? My stomach She'll is ready eat. to work. She'll eat them. I mean, we already know <laughs> that's the way it goes. That's great. Yeah. No, but cool. It's a great event. It sounds like a great one. Thank you for bringing yeah. us that info. Always. We're going to try to be there. Yeah. Let's try to do <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. No try. You're going to. All right. We're going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Still to come, syphilis cases are on the rise, and it's concerning doctors. We'll have some tips on how you can protect yourself. And, of course, if you are heading out to school here in just a little bit, those temperatures are going to be in the mid-70s. Talking about getting up into the 80s here very quickly. Some of us already at 80, and that's about as cool as it's going to get.